So in the last video, we were looking at the cabinets and we took a look at the Mesh cabinet and the Mesh cabinet pro. Now in this video, let's take a look at the control room and the control room pro. First off, for the amp configuration, I've loaded up a Tweedman, which is an emulation of the Fender Deluxe amp. I've got the match cabinet over here, but let's just take a listen first to the riff that we're going to be using, and then I'll remove this match cabinet and start using the control rooms. So take a listen here. So that's a simple riff. So now let's check out the control room. I'm going to remove this component of the match cabinet and first drag on this control room. Now, what you've got here is multiple microphones that you're using on one cabinet. So as you can see over here, this is a vintage 4x12 and you've got a selection of ribbon, dynamic and condensed microphones where you can adjust the volume, choose to mute or solo them and change the panning configuration. For example, let me just pull everything down over here. So all the levels for these other microphones and start off with this ribbon one-to-one -one first. Adjust the volume. I can pan it to the left, to the right. Censor it again by clicking the button and then muting or soloing. Now, obviously you're not hearing a difference because I've got one microphone, but if you've got multiple microphones where the levels have been pulled up and you solo, you can take listen to just that microphone in isolation. Overall, I think this level coming out is a bit soft. So I'm going to drag this up or I could even just click this to adjust the volume. And as you can see, that's actually pulling it to the max volume over there. That was clipping, but now it's good. So next, let's mute this and take a listen to this Dynamic 57, which is an emulation of a Shure 57. So you get the idea. I can solo each microphone and listen to it in isolation. And then listen to the others. You can hear a slight difference on how that dynamic microphone is picking up more of the mids and the highs. So I'm going to play through and adjust some of these levels, and then we'll also tweak some of the panning. I'll catch you in a bit. But before doing that, because I'm going to be adding extra microphones, it's actually going to accumulate the master level. So I'm going to actually pull this back and then play back. Let's try panning some of them. So let's take this dynamic microphone, move it to the left, this one over here to the right, the same for these condensers, move this one slightly to the left and this one slightly to the right, and maybe some movements with these dynamics over here, and I'll keep the ribbons in the center. And for extra effect, let's click on this so we're enabling the stereo mode. So for this, it's just going in mono, but here we're going to take the source and make it more stereo. Pull that volume down. So before was just one microphone. Nothing special. But by adding a selection of microphones together, you're getting a more fuller sound. I can also go in and increase the bass, treble, and add some air. Or even switch to another cabinet. So this is a vintage 4x12. Let's go for a more modern 4x12. This also changes the types of microphones. If I just go back to that vintage 4x12, you can see I had a ribbon 160 in the end there, but going to the modern, there is a different selection of microphones. Pretty much the same here, just with the dynamic 40 at the end. And always just keeping an eye on that output level because you are using multiple meters. And there's also a bunch of presets that I can select from. So maybe I want a mod 4x12 warm, and as you can see, there's a slight adjustment to the levels. It's using that same cabinet. Let's just pull down these condenser and dynamic microphones over here. So that's the control room, working with a speaker cabinet with multiple microphones. Now, let's remove this and see the difference with the Control Room Pro. 
So with this, you've got a cabinet. You can choose from a list of microphones. And you can have up to eight different slots with eight different cabs using different microphones. So this takes the control room to a whole nother level. Also, another thing to note is that different cabinets have a selection of different microphones. This is the 2x12 AC Silver, and these are the microphones you can choose from. But if I jump to something else, for example, maybe a 4x12 Vintage, I've got quite a bit of extra microphones that I can choose from. So just keep note of that. And another thing to point out, if I just go to that Vintage AC Silver, you've got different mic selection points. So with this ribbon microphone, I can place it on the cap, on the cap edge, or even on the cone. But if I go to the vintage modern, I'm limited to where the microphone position is for some of these microphones. And just going through some of the other settings, you can also add some room to it, change the distance, and invert the phase. So testing out what we've just checked out over here, let's play back and tweak some of these settings. So let's go back to the 2x12 AC Silver. I'll have the Dynamic 57 on the cap, and then we'll go through some of these other settings. Let's change the microphone position. So it sounds less bright when you moved away from the cap. Adding in some room. And changing the distance. And inverting the phase. Now you'll probably need to invert the phase if you're using multiple microphone configuration setups with speakers, and there may be some phase cancellation. So that's when you'd want to use the phase invert. But to check this out, let's add some other cabinets and see what we can do. So I'm gonna add a four by 12 modern with a condenser 47. Then I'll jump for another cabinet over here. For this, let's maybe go for, let's go for a four by 10 tweed using a ribbon one to one on the cap edge. So what we can do is go into each one and just check the room level. The tweed. And then I've got this mixer that looks very similar to the control room. So what I've got here is a pan for each cabinet and then I can adjust the levels. So maybe for the 4x12, I can go into that and invert the phase and jump back to the mixer and choose some panning. Going to each one, maybe adding a bit more room. Then add some air. So going back now, if we just had one speaker cabinet, it would sound like this. But now with the accumulation of three different speaker cabinet setups, it sounds like this. So just adding some extra flavor to that tone that we're going for, for that guitar sound. Now you can imagine you can go quite wild here by setting up eight unique different speaker cabinets with different volume levels, different pannings, different room amounts, and different mic placements. Now I must admit, by going through all these different speaker cabinet configurations, my favorite is actually still just using the Mesh Cabinet Pro and matching it up with the cabinet that it's with. So this is the Tweed Delight, and it really does sound quite sweet. But it's nice to know that you do have multiple options that you can use to tweak the sounds and get maybe a different characteristic that you want.